Hello YouTubers, Team Circuit back again, my name is Javed and today we're bringing you a very easy dance lift but also very effective dance lift called a drape. Not that drape, that drape. Or that drape. Although the drape lift is originally a classically trained lift, it was made famous by the musical Cats. This is one of the easiest full press lifts out there. The only easier ones that I can think of right now are the dirty dancing lift and the bird flip, both of which you can check out by clicking here. You can do this lift in its basic form, which is essentially easier, or if you're up for a challenge, you can throw it straight into overhead full split drape. Now enough introduction, let's get to it. Start off by positioning the base directly behind the flyer with the flyer standing with both feet in parallel position. The base should now put the palms of his hands on the lowest part of the flyer's back. The flyer should respond to this by gripping the base's wrists extremely firmly. It is the flyer's job to make sure that the base's hands do not slide all over her back during the lift. She has to make sure that the hands stay put on the lowest part of her back. On go, both the base and the flyer should make a deep squat to plie. It is important that the base squats deeper than the flyer to make sure he can really get underneath her. The flyer should assume to take a seating position, leaning into her base. Now the tricky part. The flyer has to assume to jump not just straight up into the air, but she has to make a dive bomb over the base behind her. This can feel extremely counterintuitive, but it is exactly for reasons like this why the flyer and base have to have good trust. Don't forget your trust exercises. As the flyer now jumps backwards over the base, the base should first place the flyer in position before attempting to press the flyer straight up using mostly his leg power. Remember your squats. On the way up, the flyer should slightly bend her knees, but not to the extent that she accidentally kicks her base. It's a fine line between the two, but it is crucial to do this in order for the flyer to end up in the overhead drape position. If she keeps her legs straight, the gravitational pull on her upper body will never be strong enough to get the flyer upside down. You should time the extension of your legs with the pivoting points when your head goes down. For myself, as a rule of thumb, I always tell my flyers, First see the floor, upside down of course, and then extend your legs. With the flyer in position, the base should use his hands, not just as a platform where the flyer rests on, but he can use his fingers in a circle around her waist to keep her in a hoop-like position. This is a lot lighter on the base's wrists and makes sure that he can hold this position much longer. As far as the arms are concerned, remember to press your arms directly past your ears. Try not to look up at your flyer as her back is resting against the back of your head. Warning for the flyers, once you are in drape position, do not, I repeat, do not contract your abs, whatever you do. If you bring both legs in front of you, you will end up in a downfall, and as usual, there will be nothing the base can do to save you as his hands are still up in the air and his back is towards you. Keep your hind leg pressing down behind you. This is very important to keep the balance up. For the descent, try to remember that at this point the flyer is way above the base's head and the base is usually taller than the flyer to begin with. This is a long way down. First, bring the flyer back to the chest height of the base and only then afterwards slowly put your flyer down. Even once the flyer is put on the base's chest, this is still a very long way to just dead drop the flyer. So you have to make sure to give her support the entire journey all the way down. Depending on how lucky you are to have a very flexible partner, it might be possible to do the overhead full split drape. The Royal Ballet tends to use this drape because of its incredible impact on the audience. Flexibility for the flyer aside, the hardest part of this lift is no doubt the pivoting point. Getting past this pivoting point could be a real drag for couples. If you're having trouble with this pivoting point, it is possible to practice the pivoting point on the ground first. Simply have the base lay down flat on his back with his hands up, the flyer standing at his hip height, facing away from the base, placing his hands in position just like you would conventionally doing this lift, then slowly sitting back, leaning, and simply pivot backwards with your head until you figure out how to get into this point standing up. If you're new to partner work, or if you have never ever lifted a flyer overhead, the basic drape is the number one recommended lift to start out. All the rules for the flyer's starting technique is the same, but the base has to have completely different hand placement. The plie and squat can be less deep for the base as his hands are now in a different place, and so is the flyer's center point. Once in the air, it's the opposite. 
Everything is the same for the base, but the flyer has to hold her own very differently. Instead of bending her knees, she is now going to keep both legs straight and keep her feet shoulder distance from one another. She does this to not kick her base you know where. The acrobatics world, the kings of overhead lifts, don't actually have a back drape. The reason for this being that the drape is simply too easy and thus it's only used as an artistic embellishment. The closest thing they have to an actual point scoring drape is a back plane. This is a lot harder than a regular drape and also requires a sizable difference between base and flyer. Not because of body weight, but because the base now needs to cover almost two hands worth of space with a single palm. Here you can see the different hand placements for the different types of drapes. Spotting a drape is actually very easy. Position yourself on the side of the base and the flyer, have one hand on the leg that she presses down and one hand on her lower back. The only real thing you have to be careful for is if the flyer does something silly like pulling both her legs forward, you will have to catch the flyer mid-air. And that's our drape tutorial everyone! We hope you found this tutorial useful and if so, let us know by tagging us at hashtag circuitofficial. Drop a comment or request below and let us know what lift or tutorial you would like to see next. And remember, like, subscribe and sound the alarm. This is Javid from Team Circuit signing off. I'll see you next time.